today I've brought you to the Stainforth and Kibbe Canal at Thorne, fishing to the right hand side of Whitewell Bridge on permanent peg 154. This is an area that's, that's good at the start of the winter but what tends to happen as it gets colder the fish pull into the main part where the built up area is. It was a venue where we nearly always fish with bloodworm. There's masses of roach here through the, the winter months. They all pull into the town section of this canal and it's absolutely fantastic fishing. But what's happened of late, there's been no bloodworm. It's been very difficult to get any bloodworm to fish on this canal. So we've changed over to fishing more conventional styles, fishing with um, casters and, and hemp and and, and other baits fishing for roach, but also bread punch has started to play also a major part on this canal. The reason why it works so well, the, the water's extremely clear. It's a very, very clear canal. You can almost see the bottom in the edge. We're now into late November, and today I just want to talk you through the steps of how simple bread fishing can actually be. The first thing to get right is the, the bread itself, what you're going to feed. And I've very, very simply this morning, early this morning, I've liquidized probably about three quarters of a, a large size loaf the bread that I've used is Warburton's and Warburton's is a, a renowned bread punch type bait. It's, it's, it's the one that everybody seems to use. It's slightly doughier and it, it works very well for punch fishing. Because this canal's deep, liquidised bread doesn't work particularly well because this is a deep canal, it's probably eight or nine foot deep. So it's necessary to mix something else with the, the liquidised bread to just get it more tacky so it gets to the bottom very quickly. And what I've done, I've just got a normal bag of white crumb, about three pints of white crumb, and just spun that up with a drill to start with so it becomes not over wetted but reasonably damped off. Then what I've done, I've added the liquidised bread to it. And same as I've said, I've probably three quarts of a, a loaf I've actually added to this white crumb. Now that alone is not enough to get this to the bottom. I've also added some gravel, a 250 ml Drenum pot of gravel, where I've also added into the mix. And this makes sure that the bait goes straight to the bottom. Now you can squeeze this very, very tight together and put in a bowl that's almost, it feels almost rock hard, but once it gets to the bottom, because it's a, a white crumb, it breaks down very quickly and spreads out. And also, as soon as any fish arrive in the swim, they'll shove the bread about. So don't worry about feeding just one bowl in a tight area. The other bait that's worth adding when you're fishing with bread is hemp. Bread and hemp are a match made in heaven. Both work extremely well for roach. And today I've not actually fired any hemp in with a catapult. All I've done, I've potted an amount each time I've put a ball of, of the bread mix in. Once you've got the, the feed right, then it's a case of getting the rigs right also. Because this canal's quite deep, there's lots of different sizes of roach. Sometimes you can catch the smaller roach, sometimes you get onto a pocket of the slightly bigger fish. Fish up to six or seven ounce often on bread punch. Today it's been the mainly small fish that I've caught and I've had bites regularly right from the off. When fishing bread punch, the starting point is to fish about one to two inch off bottom. This makes the bread punch on the hook stand out from the bait on the bottom. The rigs that I've set up, I've set up three pencil floats, one half a gram, one three quarts of a gram, 0.75, and one a gram. 
Now the reason that I've used pencils, I find when you're fishing on this canal, because the fish are all different stamps, that you can catch very, very well with the pencil because there's little to no resistance on the bite. So you can use slightly bigger floats and the one gram rig has been the best today for catching these small fish. It's settled very quickly and you could come back with the fish very quickly. If the fish had have been bigger, I'm sure that maybe the half a gram would have been the best float. So it's up to you to find out which is the best on the day. The main line on the rig's been O10 suplex. The hook length, I've used a 0.075 fluorocarbon, just a five inch piece. The hook that I've used, I've used a size 18 B511, a Camasan B511. These are almost uh, an iconic hook for fishing with bread punch. They're a nickel type hook that just suit bread perfectly well. The shotting patterns, you'll be quite amazed. You think, as soon as you think of bread punch, you think of light shots down the line. But today I've used two number nine droppers and then a block of number eights above on the gram rig. And even on the half a gram rig, I've had number nines as droppers. And this because when you're fishing with bread, you want everything to register quite quickly. And number nines, you see bites a lot quicker than fishing with small shots. I've also kept it really simple. I didn't want to split the fish and I've just fished one line all day at 11 meters. This is right at the bottom of the track in the deepest water. Another good tip also is to think about the size of the bread that you're putting on. Today I started with a three mil punch and quickly swapped to a five mil. And even though the fish were quite small, a five mil punch was the best bait for most of the session today. A bit later on it started to get difficult and I did drop down to the four mil. Another great tip when you're fishing with bread punch is to compress the bread slightly. I've done two different types of bread today. I just brought a a couple of slices that were just took straight out of the packet but I also microwaved a couple of slices just for like 10 seconds in the microwave on full power and what this does it makes the bread slightly tacky and then once once I'd done that I rolled it with a, a rolling pin just to compress the bread the reason for microwaving the bread and rolling it, it makes it quite compressed and it stays on the hook better. If you don't do this, the other way is to flatten the bread with the thumb. So once you actually compress the bread into the punch, you can also flatten the punch down with the thumb, which compresses it and helps it to stay on the hook. This length of water is owned by Thorn and District and you can get day tickets on the bank. Today, because it's so cold, I've just fished a short three hour session and probably caught seven or eight pound of roach. It's been quite hectic. I've caught very, very quickly at times and, and it's been a fantastic session of bread punch fishing. But what you must remember on cold days like this, a nice flask of tea, it's a Yorkshire thing, but it keeps you going through the match or through the session.